welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be finishing hopefully the last of this doodle so um, for the last four weeks well more than four weeks I've been working on um, this whole doing live video where I work on um, a project while working on art and today will be the last day that I will be working on it so I've been doing a five-part series where I teach myself I guess how to talk to the camera while working on different projects so this project was just to become familiar with just talking to the camera not specifically about the project but just um, about random things while I while I I did it so while I'm working on the project just talk about random things just to become familiar with doing this because I find it very hard to do um, and the goal was just to talk about life in general and nothing specific um, and the last series will be where I actually attempt to do a pro I, it's it actually terrifies me just thinking about it where I will be doing basically the last um, so I will be working on different projects so it will be five I will be okay let me let me say this again <laughs> just thinking about it is making me um, a little anxious so the goal of the next five videos will be to actually work on a project and talk about the actual project while I'm recording so that's the whole point of the whole channel I want to do projects and um, like talk about the process of making the projects but because I have no experience with doing this kind of things I thought I should practice first and every video I've made up to now has been me becoming familiar with the whole process um, this is the fourth series where I just talk about nothing and then the last series will which will start in the next video will be talking about something specific I hope that makes sense so in the vein of talking about random stuff that has nothing to do with the video in um, in general um, uh, uh, last time I spoke about um, doing taxes and turns out it wasn't as bad as I thought I still haven't actually sent it but I finished I was able to complete the taxes and turns out I am not in as much trouble as I would have thought I would be in um, well maybe I might be in trouble for being <laughs> late in actually doing the taxes but I'm not in as much trouble as I was expecting to be in and I got for the first time my census um, I got in the mail um, the census um, questionnaire I haven't done it yet um, I think I'm I'm waiting until I have a day off so probably Sunday we have until May the 11th to complete it everybody was getting so excited <laughs> online they were just so excited to complete the the um, census questionnaire it's just really weird to me because I know it's done every I think every five years but don't quote me on that but I can't remember doing a census um, questionnaire before I've lived in Canada for since I was 13 going on 14 and if it's done every five years then I must have had to have done it I like they would not have skipped me they send it to every household but for some reason I can't remember having done it so I'm very excited to actually work on the census this time um, I know there are two different kinds there's the short form and then there is the long form um, from what I've seen on Twitter the short form is probably going to take like three minutes but the long form takes a lot of time and it's just it was just so funny to see how excited everybody was to complete the the um the the census <laughs> Canadians is so interesting 
they're all they were all calling themselves nerds i've asked all my friends and all my co-workers about the census and uh th there were a lot of mixed um mixed responses so i guess it will be my turn i think i will get it done on sunday because i still have a few days i think i have until t next tuesday which will be may the 11th no i don't want to go in this direction let's go this way and then i will see what all the fuss is about and next um it's a, a little concerning for me it's really funny this is a very funny thing that i've just been thinking about right for the last and i hope nobody gets offended about this i don't mean any offense for the last few years the whole world has been watching the americans um, struggle with the terrible president. I'm so sorry. I know some people love him, but um, and I'm talking about Trump. A whole lot of people love this man, but uh, if you have any form of reasoning, you could see that he was just not a good person. So for the last five years, the whole world watched the American struggle and we felt sorry. Because um, a lot of people look look up to the United States, they set themselves up as um, world leaders, and they do. Let's be real; they do. They do keep up with the the. Um, so the 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 trend that they set, they do keep up with it. So they say they are world leaders, and they act like world leaders, and they do keep up. They're number one in medicine. They do a, a whole lot until they um they elected this this person as their leader then their prestige and their standing in the world started to fall so since this whole situation happened the whole world has been watching the 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 reputation of the united states fall and for the longest while especially with the the pandemic we we're going through we all just watched just so many people just struggle and we were just feeling so sorry for them. And then finally the Americans wised up and they hired or they elected rather. Well, it's also hiring. They elected a person who seems to have common sense and who seems to have the will and the care of the people in his heart. I'm talking about Joe Biden. And just in, it's what, uh, we're in May. So he got elected in November and he got rung into office in January. I don't really know 100% about the American election um, process, but I think he, he, the inauguration was in January. And in that time, he's managed to change the narrative so completely. It went from everybody feeling sorry for the Americans because of the whole pandemic situation to the the now we're we're the ones feeling sorry for ourselves because the whole country the whole united states they're all vaccinated and now we're here in canada just wondering when is it going to be our turn we are the ones now struggling for vaccines so i i was just thinking about how how funny it is things the situations can change so quickly it goes from one person it it takes only one person in the right position to change uh, the the outcome of a whole country and it just it it speaks a lot to how much power uh, um how much power can do how much how much we can affect change and it's so sad that a lot of people who are in power they cho they don't realize what they can do and they don't realize how much they can further the human race. Like, look at that. He's only been in power for... And I'm not saying he has the best politics. I really don't follow it that much. The only thing I follow is just the um, progress on the vaccine. But look, he's only been in power for such a short amount of time. And just by making this a few selfless, selfless decisions, so many people's lives have been saved already. Whereas all these other people who are arguing about this and that and saying the virus is not 
dangerous so many people died just because of this so it's just a, a thought that I had anyway so I am done with this um, I hope you can see it I tried to lower the camera so that it would be more visible I was noticing that even with the um, no matter what I did if even if I recorded in daylight and even if I recorded at night time um, because my camera is not the best the quality of the recording was just not good and you couldn't see the details of what I drew so I'm hoping that so I lowered the um, the camera it it doesn't already have a very deep or very wide field uh, to record to begin with but I feel like this is better than nothing um, hopefully this is clear I'll I guess I'll find out when I do the edits um, so thank you so much for watching and listening I will be starting next um, week by actually doing um, there will still be test pieces but it's just a practice so I can work on some pieces while I practice actually talking about the process what I'm doing and what I'm learning and why I'm doing what I'm doing and hopefully um, I can finally get started on some real content for the channel thank you so much if you like what you saw please hit the like button and if you'd like to continue with me on this journey hit the subscribe um, and I will see you in the next one thank you bye